it's Kylie Berzasa here. Do you think you've fallen out of your fitness routine? Di ka nag -iisa. Let's get back on track with some workouts and healthy eats here at The Good Fit. We are doing our exercise here right now at the awesome SMDC Shell Residences. The resort-inspired amenities are the perfect backdrop to burn calories, shed some pounds, and to jumpstart a healthy and fit lifestyle. A good workout plus a good meal complemented by a good workout location equals the good fit. Newbies or fitness enthusiasts, kahit sino pa, everyone is welcome here. Kaya, are you all ready? Let's do this! Okay, so first things first, it's so important to stretch those muscles to warm up. So the warm-up, we're going to do four exercises for one round, 30 seconds each. Let's start! So the first thing we're going to do is a hip rotation, 15 seconds on each side, on the right and the left. Let's do it, go! Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, last five seconds, thirteen, fifteen. Okay, it's so good to always open up the hips before working out because it's so important that your hips are loose before you do the next exercises. Okay, so next we have the alternating hamstring stretch. So we start by tapping the right leg to the left hand, stepping back two steps and then doing it on the other side. Let's do three, two, one. One. Five, six, seven, last 15 seconds, eight, nine, just try to kick it as high as you can, ten, last three seconds, two, and one. Woo, pagod na ako guys, bakit ganun? Okay, next. Next, we have the squat rotation. Already works out your hamstrings and your glute muscles to keep the blood flowing and a warm-up is also good to prevent injuries. Okay, we start by doing a simple squat. Make sure your knees don't go beyond your, your feet. Simple squat and then we just turn. And then we squat and then we turn to the left. It's so good to also stretch your muscles on the abdomen area, just so that your whole body already has that blood flow circulation on it. Let's begin in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, Last five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, our last warm up workout is a side step toe tap. So, this is our action. We're gonna step to the right, do a 45 degree angle, and then reach with your left hand with your right knee, and then do it on the other side. You can step or hop to the other side. And three, two, one, go.
Last 15 seconds. 19, 20. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. Whew. Okay, that didn't feel like a warm up, guys. Pero sana warm up na yung mga katawan yo para ready na kayo for the main workout. Ang importante dito, we keep our heart rate up, pero always remember to work within your limits. If this is your first time, it's okay to go slow. What's important is you don't quit. Okay, yeah, let's get it on. Okay guys, so the, for the workout proper, we are going to do each workout for 30 seconds with a 30 second rest. So our first workout would be the squat jump. So our action would be doing a simple squat and then we're going to jump to reach up, jump as high as you can. All right, let's start. One, two, three, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 15 seconds left. 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> okay. The next workout while we're resting is the knee tuck. So we're going to go on the ground. And then this is good for the abdomen muscles. And then we're going to lift up and then tuck your knees to your chest and then move your arms like this. Okay? Three, two, one. Two. Last 10 seconds. Okay, rest. The next workout is gonna be high knees while we're resting. Put your hands between your chest and then we're just gonna. This is so good to keep your heart rate up. Para mas marami tayong calories sa mga burn, o ba? Okay, and a three, two, one. and we are now burning more calories. The next workout is a burpee. All right, so a burpee would be do a plank and then jump. And then you can do a variation where you jump, but dito lang ako sa ground and do a normal squat. All right, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last 
last 10 seconds. Seven. round one guys and now we are going on to round two so let's begin round two we're gonna do a squat jump and three two one go Next are the knee tucks. And three, two, one, go. And rest. Next, guys, we have the high knees. And three, two, one, go. Gather your breath because we are now moving on to our last workout, the burpee. In three, two, one, go. Okay guys, let's keep going for round three. And then ba kayo? In three, two, one, go. Last 10 seconds. Okay, rest. The next workout is gonna be high knees while we're resting. Okay. And a three, two, one. Keep your hands up. 
and chest up. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, three, two, one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Last ten seconds. Seven. completing a tough workout, time to cool down with some stretching. Cool down is also vital in workouts like the warm-up, so don't skip this part. So we're gonna start with the left arm stretch. Each stretch for 10 seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then what I like to do is to get your right hand and pull it with your left. One, two, and try to stretch as far as you can. Three, four. It's so good to stretch your left side body. Four. Change. Left hand with the right hand, pull and stretch to the left side. One, two, three. You can also stretch backwards because we also work out our abdomen muscles. So stretch to the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, two, one. Change. Now for our hamstrings, we spread our legs and then we touch our right hand to the left foot and then we feel the stretch with our left hamstring. We do this for 10 seconds, starting now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we go to the other side. One, two, three, four. Divine of Ethereum, stretch the Bisa right hamstring nyo. Sobrang sarap nyo. Especially if you do a lot of cardio or if you run a lot. This is a good stretch for your hamstrings. And then last, we will spread our legs wide and then we reach as far as we can here. Stretch the hips and open up both hamstrings. And touch your hands as far as you can on the ground. You can try also try to move your hips side to side to open up the hip muscles. So that is our workout for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed and hope you guys are feeling good. A nice way to cap off this exercise is to prepare a healthy meal yeah, let's keep watching and let's keep going for something good. Oatmeal is one of the best breakfasts you can include into your meal plan. It's nutritious, budget-friendly, and easy to prepare. Okay, allow me to teach you how you can enjoy oatmeal in many different ways with a variety of overnight oats. So our first variant, we do have the coffee walnut chia. Meron ng coffee flavored soy milk or low fat milk, kaya coffee lovers will surely love this recipe. 
So first, we have to mix the ingredients in the following order. We get half a cup of rolled oats. Rolled oats is a better choice since it's rich with fiber and nutrients. So we just have to take this big... And then we take one tablespoon of chia seeds. Chia seeds is known as a superfood and an antioxidant, which is so good and healthy for the body. And then we have one fourth cup of plain Greek yogurt, sweetened or unsweetened. And then we have one fourth cup of low fat milk. have one fourth cup of espresso or strongly brewed coffee or coffee powder. So it's good always to coffee is always good for caffeine, it wakes you up in the morning. And then to top it off, we have one fourth, one to three teaspoons of pure honey. Oh so I like things sweet myself so that looks like that. And last but not the least, we top it off with walnuts. And I'd like to top it off with a bit of chia. So there we have it. Our first variant is done. Now we move on to the second variant, which is the banana peanut butter. So we do the same, we mix the ingredients in the following order. We have half a cup of rolled oats. What's nice, it doesn't have to be the exact measurements. You could just estimate the ingredients depending on how you want your overnight oats to be. And then we have half a cup of low fat milk. Or soy milk or almond milk is good depending on which type of milk you want to add. And then we have one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract. So good. And then we have one teaspoon of chia seeds. I prefer to sprinkle it with my hands or just. There you go. And then we have half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we slice a banana. It depends how much banana you want in your recipe, but we're gonna go for this amount. Oops. Place it on top. It's a good dish also to serve to your friends or a really good breakfast meal. And then we have two tablespoons of creamy or crunchy peanut butter.
And then to top it off, we have half a tablespoon of honey. And voila! We are done with our overnight oats. All you need to do is refrigerate overnight for at least eight hours. And in the morning, you may eat it as is or heat if desired. Diba? Ang dali lang. So we have our two recipes over here. But aside from these two recipes, I also prepared some overnight oats for variety. So we have our apple pie overnight oats, which is made of oats and apples. We also have the berries, nuts, and seeds made out of oats, mixed berries, walnuts, and chia seeds. And we also have the mango made out of oats, mango, yogurt, and milk. There's no wrong way to prepare your overnight oats, but if you want some inspiration, pwede yung gawin itong simple recipes that I just shared with you. A good workout plus a good meal equals the good fit. This has been Kylie Berzosa here at the SMDC Shell Residences, reminding you to always aim for something good. See you at our next session. Bye!